Sagittarius, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, welcome to your reading. Sagittarius, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading where I'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, you got the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. That's a synchronicity. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you that there is someone that you may know from a previous lifetime, very strong bond, very strong connection with that is being brought into your life. You guys have learned so many lessons solo and it's time through divine timing to learn lessons together. Your angels are telling you right now your vibes attract your tribe. That's why it's so important to understand that you manifest who you are, not what you want. So right now your angels are telling you in order for this person to come into your life, they can come tomorrow. That's the beautiful thing about energy. It's like as fast as electricity. They can enter your life immediately. Your vibrations have to match theirs. That's it. So for example, if you are looking to attract someone fun and exciting, you have to have fun and excitement within you. That's why it's so important to be excited about everything you do, right? Be excited for the food you eat. Be excited for the shows you watch. Be excited for the thoughts that you have, vision of the future. Your angels are telling you right now, adventure, right? This is what awaits you. You are bound to go off on this beautiful adventure and all you have to do in order to get it is do everything with passion. Anything that you normally do on a regular basis, do it with passion. Like for example, imagine if I told you, hey, you know when you wash the dishes, what if I paid you for it? Hey, you know when you go for a walk, what if I paid you for it? Hey, you know when you're at work, what if I paid you for it? You'd be like, great deal, I was doing it anyway. Exactly, right? So the next time you're washing your dishes, throw on some headphones and listen to a podcast. Do it with passion. Next time you're going for a walk, rather than just, you know, have, just tell yourself, I gotta get fresh air. Instead, look at the clouds. Breathe deep, right? Tell yourself, wow, beautiful product, beautiful air, right? But by doing everything with passion, you're going to have poise and grace and you're just banking in good karma. And the person who attracts their soulmate is the person who has the highest karma, the best vibrations, right? And right now by choosing kindness over you know, judgment, which is like not being hard on yourself, everything gets better because you do have the eight of swords and the five of swords here. And your angels are telling you that you, you know, don't be hard on yourself right now. Don't tell yourself, why did this happen? Why did this not happen? When is this going to happen? That energy right there is a lower frequency and it jams the signal. Imagine your angels and guides, they want to bring you a present. And every time they get close to your house, you know, imagine you're here, they're here. They want to bring your soulmate. And every time you start, you start being hard on yourself, they have to drive back. They drive, drive back, drive, they drive back. Let them just come, right? This means really being kind to yourself, love yourself. Matter of fact, comfort yourself, right? Something I do on a regular basis. I, I Once a week, I have a boardroom meeting with everyone in my team. My team consists of my inner child, my higher self, my ego, you know, my, my uh, even my future self, right? My like 80 year old version of Vince. And every single time I have a, like for example, I'd be like, inner child, are you happy? Are you safe? Do you feel secure? You know I got your back, right? I'll be like, ego, you're doing a great job. Just I wanna let you know, but you know what? Maybe take your foot off the gas of saying no to certain things. And then even higher self, higher self, am I honoring you? Like, am I doing the things that you want? And by really having that boardroom meeting which takes five minutes, you are going to have so much clarification because right now I see that there's one foot in, one foot out. You got judgment and you got the devil. So it's almost like you got one foot in abundance, but one foot out into scarcity. And this doesn't work. You have to pick and choose, choose and this is a choice. And your, your guides are telling you in order to choose and make it effortless, progress, not perfection. That's it. Progress, not perfection. Tell yourself that I will, you know, take one step a day today and I'm not worried about it being the wrong step as long as I take a step because the only wrong decision is not doing anything. Because right now you gotta remember, everything you're looking for requires inspired action. In order to take action, you can't tell yourself, what if something bad happens? Like for example, imagine you wanna start a business, but you're like, what if it doesn't work? Well, that's the problem, right? You gotta learn as you go, right? It's, you're going to start something, it's not gonna go perfect, you're gonna learn what to do, and now you have experience, right? But progress, not perfection, is the message. 
Now, very interesting. You got the Wheel of Fortune and you also have the Sun. Both of these cards are some of the best cards in the tarot. They let you know right now, fortune is on the way. Anything you touch will turn into gold. This is why it's so important to dream big to conquer big. It takes the same energy to dream big than it does to dream small. It takes the same energy to think positive to negative. This is why it's so important to invest in always, always, always the vision of the future so you're not left with that memory of the past. Like for example, imagine you want to ask someone on a date. Now you can either visualize it going well, them saying yes, or them saying no. But sometimes we tend to go towards fear because it's our, it's our second nature, right? We've been bombarded and influenced and brainwashed to look at fear. Turn on the news. What do you see? Fear, fear, fear. Because it works. And right now your angels and guides are telling you in order for you to manifest what you're looking for, you have a choice. Always pick the vision of the future of things going right, right? And your angels are telling you you can do this by being a voice and not an echo. And I'll give you an example of that. A lot of times what we tend to do is just parrot what other people are saying, not really looking at who's saying it. Like imagine going to work, and then you have your coworkers. They're standing around gossiping about who knows what. Now, everyone's participating in a lower dimensional you know, hate fest, really, right? So they have no idea the damage they're doing to them, so to their energy, their karma, their vibrations, their frequency, their luck, their fortune. They have no idea. They're uneducated when it comes to the spiritual. Now, you being the clever soul that you are, Sagittarius, you understand that you, there's, a, there's a bomb waiting to go off. Do not partake in that is the message, right? Now you have dream. So source is telling you this is a time to really start quantum entangling with dreaming what you want, which is daydreaming, right? So if you have some spare time, like for example, I'll be at the grocery store waiting to pay my bill and I'll be visualizing myself salsa dancing on a yacht with my wife in the Caribbean. Do you see where I'm going with this? Any single chance I get to do anything with daydreaming, manifesting, visualizing, that is not wasting your time. I have 12 different Amazon brands. I have Airbnbs. I have uh, um, YouTube channels. I also have Amazon businesses. I have uh, uh, day trading things. I have a lot of stuff to do in a very good way and I love doing it, but I'm very busy. So let me tell you, I don't have time to waste my time doing something unless I know 100% it works. That's why manifesting, daydreaming, visualizing, journaling, waking up early, exercising, these things are the winning ticket. Why do I look like I know what I'm talking about? It's just because I have these habits, right? That's it. I'm not some like superhero. I just know what to do and I just do it. And the, the doing it part, right? And that's what's going on here. Right now, you have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords and your angels and guides are telling you that execution trumps knowledge. You got this. And right now by finding, you know, the strength and simplicity, you'll be able to do what you're looking for. So for example, rather than be like, okay, in order to go to the gym, I need to get some pants, a shirt. I need to make sure that I have a gym partner. I got to make sure I get a trainer. None of that. You need some shoes. You grab your shoes, you grab some headphones, you throw it in, you walk to the gym, you drive to the gym, you tell them, I would like to try this facility for one one week for free and I appreciate it. And they'll say, no problem. And you go there and you literally go on YouTube and type in how to work out back, how to work out chest, how to work out glutes. That's it, super simple, right? This is exactly how you get what you're looking for. And by doing so, you're quantum entangling with abundance and it always comes. Now, speaking of abundance, Sagittarius, let's get some money and some love into your life. Write down the following words in the comment section. And by writing it down, what you're doing is quantum, quantum entangling with abundance and letting your angels and guides know that you are 100% ready. So write down the following words and breathe life into this by making sure that you feel the words. This is very, very important. All right, so write down the following words. Look at this one. I have enough time, energy, and money for what I care most about. What are you doing? You're letting your angels and guides know, you know being rich is your birthright. You know being abundant is your birthright. You are already living in the future. You've already had this for 10 years. That's how you do it. Write this down in the comment section. I have enough time, energy, and money for what I care most about. Yes, you do. You are living in the future, so it happens in the present. Write this down in the comment section right now. I have enough time, energy, and money for what I care most about. Give this video a like and let your angels and guides know that you are ready. All right, Sagittarius. Now, final message from your spirit guides. Let's see what the final message is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do one more shuffle. Got to make it good. All righty. All right, so right now their message to you is,
There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your appeal, right? Or approval. Look at that, even better. Right now, their message is, the only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. Look at that. So right now, it's all perception, right? I know, for example, when I'm not judging or comparing, it's a lot easier for me to relate to people. And at the end of the day, you gotta remember, like everyone's on their own journey. Someone may have had a different childhood than yours, right? So that's why, you know, your angels and guides are telling you that you can, you have the choice of looking at it from different perspectives. Always choose love that empowers you. All right, Sag, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.